My six word story is saving road accident victims through bystander care. I was in uh, in private equity. I was I had no business being in road safety, and uh, you know six years ago I lost somebody in my family in a road accident, and that uh, for the first time got me to look at the issue uh, a little more closely. But when I look at the look at the issue, I was I was horrified because I learned that uh, my cousin who passed away in the accident was not the only one to have died the way he died, which was lying on the road waiting for help for about 45 minutes. But there are hundreds of thousands of people who, who go through that, uh, you know, every, every year. That's what really motivated me to say that, uh, you know, this is something which has to stop. Our uh, solution is to try and bring everybody on the board, uh, you know, is to, is to work collaboratively, is to, is to make sure that uh, existing resources in our community are utilized to save lives. You know, our roads are such that there is a, there is a constant road user conflict. Uh, we have uh, lanes that are shared by buses and by cyclists at the same time. So there, there is a conflict that leads to uh, accidents. And once the accident takes place, uh, delay in trauma care actually leads to deaths. Uh, you know, and these are treatable injuries uh, you know, on many occasions. And, and, and what makes this issue complex is the fact that each of these four areas are owned by different departments and ministries. Uh, so we work closely with police, we work closely with the transport ministry, we work closely with medical establishments, uh, we work closely with engineering and design schools. Um, and, and the idea really is to bring everybody on board and develop consensus uh, around a possible solution. When for the first time we were able to convince the police that they need to work with us in training their their men in saving lives it was sort of a success for us because we realized that police had an image of being a brutal force in india and what we were trying to do or what we had been able to convince the senior officers to do was to change their face from being a brutal force to a life-saving force so where they, they could actually go ahead and intervene and try and save lives uh, so that was a small small aha moment but the big one came uh, three months into the training program two police persons who we had trained three months ago uh, actually ended up saving a road accident victim's life who did not have pulse when they when they arrived on scene. So they gave him CPR for 15 minutes while on way to hospital in that cramped police car and uh, they were able to bring him back uh, you know while they you know you know as they entered the hospital. So that was something that still gives me goosebumps you know when I think about that. You know, I come from a fairly humble background. My parents, uh, although extremely well educated, uh, went through a massive economic crisis, and uh, that that got us to uh, really see a part of life that you know I wouldn't want anybody to actually you know go into. It was it was it was a tough time, you know, economically. But um, I think even during that period, my parents really focused on on building us as you know as resilient people and, and uh, gave us good education, uh, you know, a lot of facilities were not there, but we still, you know, we studied hard, we worked hard and we did well. And I think that's, that experience built a certain amount of resilience in me, that, uh, you know, even if there are, there are failures, uh, it would not bog me down. You know, I'd, I'd look at that failure as an opportunity to actually get to a higher level. And, it, and the second thing it did was that going through those circumstances removed a fear of failure. Because when you've already seen what the bottom looks like, you're not afraid to go back to it and, and emerge again.